12 hours of lawless mayhem in which everyone is allowed to do whatever they want without any consequences may initially feel tantalizing and exciting. But once the reality of the situation sinks in, you're more likely to be terrified. Since 2013, the Purge franchise has built an intricate and fascinating fictional universe which leaves us on the edge of our seats while adeptly weaving in commentary on race, class, and violence in both the cinematic and real-life America. Unsurprisingly, the franchise was inspired by life in modern-day America, but there are some similarities between the anarchic night and the ancient world that may surprise you. The true story behind The Purge. Creator James DeMonaco has stated in interviews that his first initial inspiration for the original film occurred when he was involved in a road rage incident. One night, he and his wife were driving in Brooklyn when they were cut off by a man who appeared to be drunk. DeMonaco got into a fight with the man and the two wrestled each other to the ground until the police showed up. After the altercation, DeMonaco and his wife were still furious that this reckless person had nearly killed them. In a moment of rage, his wife made a comment that would go on to inspire a lucrative film franchise. Wouldn't it be great if we could have one free one a year? DeMonaco is clear to state that what his wife said while she was seeing Red was not a nice statement. They were both incredibly amped up by the idiocracy of the drunk man they had just encountered. Nevertheless, DeMonaco immediately knew what she meant and the sentiment would stick with him. In addition to this initial inspiration, DeMonaco has discussed his lifelong fear of guns and the terror the gun violence epidemic reigns over the US every day. He told Den of Geek, America itself becomes the canvas. Instead of the haunted house, the canvas is America. We don't need ghosts or vampires anymore when we're just killing each other, you know? While working abroad, DeMonaco noticed the staggering amount of gun violence in American newscasts in comparison to other countries. This, paired with his wife's fleeting morbid fantasy, formed the seed of the purge. DeMonaco states that when he originally told his dad of his idea for The Purge, his dad immediately brought up the Return of the Archons episode of the original Star Trek series and made him watch it many times. DeMonaco himself has noted the similarities between the franchise and the classic episode, adding that he wants people to see the connection. I'm happy people are picking up on it. I hope people see the parallel. But while DeMonaco's inspiration may have come from a very modern, traffic-related incident, some have noted that there was a historical event that wasn't so different from the events of the Purge. It's important to note, however, that DeMonaco has made no assertion that the Purge is at all based on or inspired by real events, but many have linked the lawless night to the ancient Roman festival of Saturnalia. Saturnalia was an ancient Roman festival that began on December 17. The festival occurred at the end of the sowing season as it celebrated the Roman god of agriculture, Saturn. Saturnalia was created during a golden age of equity and prosperity. So the social status of all were leveled during celebrations in an attempt to recapture that equality, spirit, and happiness of a time before slavery and private ownership of property. All work ceased and businesses closed to allow people to partake in festivities. The celebration took on a Mardi Gras vibe with drinking, gambling, and general merriment encouraged. The Roman poet Catullus called it the best of days. However, it's possible that the festival was used for not only honoring Saturn, but for perpetuating a hierarchical society and system of oppression. The central component of the festival was a feast 
in which a role reversal occurred. Slaves dined, as their enslavers usually did. The enslavers would have dined with them, and some may have even served the slaves during the feast. Some of the elite men would wear a hat known as a pileus that was typically worn by freed slaves. Wearing a toga during the festival would have been frowned upon, as it was associated with the civility and order which dominated Roman society. So elite freeborn men would instead don a brightly colored suit specific for the celebration of Saturnalia, known as a synthesis. Entertainment for the evening might have been provided by children in the home. Gifts would be exchanged during dinner, and afterwards the revelry and debauchery would commence. Free men and slaves alike would spend the night conversing, drinking excessively, gambling, flirting with women, and liberating themselves to their heart's desire. This is where some speculate that Saturnalia served an ulterior purpose. In ancient Rome, there was a paranoia amongst elite slave-holding families when it came to their safety with the people they enslaved. Slaves in ancient Rome faced horrific violence and exploitation in their daily lives. A sneeze or hiccup could provoke a brutal lashing. The ruling classes clearly worried that their abominable treatment of their slaves could cause a violent slave revolt within their homes. In one instance where a slaveholder was killed, the reaction was extreme. All 400 of his slaves were murdered when no one confessed. Therefore, it's possible that slaveholders use Saturnalia as a pressure valve, a way to provide slaves with an outlet to funnel the resentment and anger that built up throughout the year into one singular commissioned event and protect themselves. This might sound familiar. In The Purge, the new founding fathers of America took power during a period of civil unrest due to an economic crisis. In office, widespread unemployment and poverty plagued the nation. It's revealed in the first purge that Dr. May Updale, played by Marissa Tomei, came up with the purge as a sociological experiment and a way to channel Americans' anger and frustration into one night in order to improve behavior the rest of the year, reinforcing the normal social order. However, she's filled with regret when she finds out the government rigged her experiment by sending in soldiers posed as citizens to murder those the new founding fathers deem undesirable. Years later, we see in The Purge that the night has created an almost perfect society in the new founding father's eyes. According to real-life professor Fanny Delansky, Saturnalia also served to maintain a desirable status quo. The temporary departure from the norm allows the rules and structure of society to be refreshed in the mind and accepted once again. Delansky likens it to when an owner of a company shares a meal with their employees, subverting the hierarchy momentarily while also reinforcing it once the meal is over. It's unlikely that Saturnalia was celebrated to the extreme that the purge is, and murder definitely didn't play as large of a role during Saturnalia. Still, it's fascinating to see the parallels of the ancient world and the cinematic one.